Hey man, you reckon you can learn me how to play them drums? Welcome to today's episode of Diddles and Beats, the part of this channel where I answer all of your drumming questions. Today's question comes from YouTube, Toby Ellis Songwriters asking about bass drum beaters. And he said, Steve, and I've been wondering, do you always bury your bass drum beater? And what are your thoughts on bearing versus not bearing? For a quick answer to your question, no. Most of the time, I don't bury my bass drum beater. Except sometimes I do. When I play, I've developed the habit of coming just slightly off the bass drum head. So if you're looking at it from above, it does look like my bass drum beater is still touching the head, but it is in fact about a half an inch to an inch off of the head. So here's a picture of my bass drum beater on the head, and here's a picture of my bass drum beater off the head where it will usually be whenever I finish a stroke. So what's the correct way? Both. It just depends on what sound you want. I really began looking seriously at this topic whenever I was playing a lot of small jazz gigs on small jazz cocktail kits. When you have a kick drum that doubles as a floor tom, so like a 16 inch kick drum, if you bury that bass drum beater every time, you're gonna get a very muted and horrible tone on a jazz gig. If you go and watch a lot of the jazz drumming greats, well, just for instance, Carl Allen is one that I saw recently, as well as Peter Erskine, they can get three or four tones out of one kick drum. They make the conscious decision whether they're burying or whether they're not burying the beater, but it's for a purpose. It's because they want a certain sound. I also really began to notice this whenever I began playing really large venues. If you hit a 24 inch kick drum and bury that bass drum beater, you get a muted tone. And if you're on a huge PA system and you don't bury the bass drum beater, you'll get this huge, massive, low end, round tone. Watch out, because I'm about to drop some knowledge on you. In my opinion, the question shouldn't be, do you or do you not bury your bass drum beater? The question should be, why do you or why do you not bury your bass drum? That does it for today's edition of Diddles and Beats. Be sure and tune in on Wednesday for our first installment of a completely new series called Drum Hacks. Practical solutions for impractical situations. If you haven't already, follow the link below to download the free video lesson, 30 Days to Better Doubles. And fresh, hot and off the press, I just released a play along pack. The link is also in the description below this. 12 play along tracks, two versions of each, one with click, one without click, for a total of 24 tracks in different styles and at different tempos to help you in your practice time. Jump over to Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter and hang out with me there. And if you're looking to take your drumming just that one step further, head over to the website, take a tour of the student area, and see what all I have to offer on there. But regardless, I'll see you here in the next video.